The most important benefit for a worshipper, a Muslim worshipper in terms of fasting, is that it develops self-control. You see, we have these desires and impulses and they are with us every day. Especially the eating, drinking and sexual desires create these impulses every day. So they need to be put in check. Instead of these desires governing us, we need to learn to govern desires themselves. So fasting is the best way to achieve that. Actually, there has been a, some experiments done with some small kids. Uh, Daniel Coleman, in his book Emotional Intelligence, talks about this experiment where they got four-year-old kids and they got them into a room and, uh, and asked them a few questions and then they said, Look, here's a piece of chocolate or candy uh, on the table. I'm going to leave the room for uh, 10 minutes. When I come back, if you wait, I'll give you two instead of one. So then they leave the room and watch what happens to these kids. Some kids get it straight away. They cannot resist the impulse. Whereas others waited. It was the longest 10 minutes of their lives, but they waited. And the experiment did not finish there, the study. They watched these kids for the next 15 years. And what they found was that the kids who could delay the impulse of grabbing that chocolate, they were far more successful in their lives and they had better emotional state and, and relationships with people than the other kids who could not resist the temptation. So it means that for our success in the world, Delaying impulse and resisting impulse is the most important skill that we need to have. And fasting gives you that option. Your parents may have spoiled you as a kid and you may not, you may not have learned to uh, resist the temptations or the impulse. But when we start fasting, we actually learn how to do that. And when you repeat that every year, we are sharpening that key skill of resisting impulse at the, which is at the heart of being successful, not only in this world, worldly affairs and our professions, but also in our spiritual journey.